Hi guys, Sharon here from my house studios. Welcome. Today I want to share with you a little revamp that I did with an entertainment center that I had previously. And I changed it into a console table. Now this is an old piece and uh, because we are renovating, I didn't want to throw it out just as yet before I bring in a new furniture. And I think it has a couple more months or a year or so to go. So I was thinking of changing it into something that I can use in the meanwhile. So I have my sander here. This is laminate and I just want to sand it to take off the sheen in order for it to accept the paint. I'm using this sandpaper. If it's not rough enough, this is a 20 grit. But if it's not rough enough, I'm going to change it. So I'm um, attaching the sandpaper to the bottom of the sander of course I have my instructions every time I have to use it I pull out that instruction manual this entertainment center we have had for quite some time um, it houses the music system but I'm going to be removing those from I'm just attaching the dust bag, the dust collector bag, onto the back. So I'm giving it a good sand um, just to take off a bit of the sheen from on it and for the paint to go on much smoother. I have this adhesive paper that I want to use on the upper shelves. So I'm thinking of using this one. I've given this two coats of paint. I've used a white low sheen satin finish. And I removed one or two of the back pieces. I had this previously that I thought I would want to go with but I don't think it's going nicely with it. Don't mind all the paint that is going to be taken down and painted. I've already removed two pieces from it. And um, I am going to clean up all the areas with the paint. So this is the back that I've painted and will attach it once it's dried. So I've used my staple gun and attach, reattach the back onto it. So I'm using here my, you notice there are some watermarks there, I want to cover that up. I'm using my American accent satin finish. And it's always recommended that you use a satin finish. I have my sponge, my gloves, my brush. Now as I was saying, I have some watermarks at the bottom here and it showed up when I repainted it. And I'm just going a different route where I'm just dropping the paint on with a skewer. I'm not rolling on paint and then sponging it off. I'm just dropping the droplets and I'm going to use my makeup sponge and dab it into the piece. So this is a makeup sponge I'm using and I'm just dabbing and taking off or blending in the paint into the piece. So I will I'm, once I'm finished, I will remain with some light, lighter shade and some darker spots. So it's going to have some depth to the piece. So it's looking like a marble finish already. So I'm just going to try and get it as even as possible. I'm not doing the corners as yet. I'm going to get a smaller sponge for that. So I'm on to the other side. Just blotting my paint on. 
So, you know, instead of throwing out something, you can revamp it into something that you can use for a little while more. You, you could get some good use from it. So what I want to do with this is place some of my linings and, you know, other pieces that I would use close to my dining table. I'm just running some veins into the piece for it to look more like a marble finish and blending it in with the brush. I'm going to come in with my sponge and ensure that it's blended in nicely so it looks like it was already there. Remember I said don't mind the corners, I still have to come back in and do the corners. So it's looking good already. And guys I have a lot of videos out. with some of the pieces that I have on top of this con console. I am going to put the link in the description box. And this is how it turned out, guys. I am really happy with how it turned out. And those are some of the pieces that I have. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. This piece has my table napkins. I have some other linings in there. And these are pieces that I did previously. My painted bottles, my shot glasses out of, um, my candle holders out of shot glasses. This is a cardboard vase that I had done also. And all those other pieces are videos that I have out. I have my cake stand in here and you would notice how the paint came out, the sponging effect. I am really proud of how it came out. It, it looks really nice. It looks like the piece came like that originally. I did give this um, piece three coats though. So guys, Thank you for being with me. Check out my other videos. And from my house to yours, I'll catch you later.